In Creo Simulate, you can perform a pre-stress static analysis when you have multiple load cases and one of those load cases might end up altering the stiffness of your model. If you are simply to run a static analysis with those multiple load cases, it would not give you the correct results. Let's take a look at a situation for that. Here I have a model of a wing and it's going to be subjected to a temperature differential and also a pressure load. Let's go set that up. I will go to the Applications drop-down menu and then choose Simulate. And first thing I like to do in the model is assign my material and then let me click on the More button. And there are a bunch of materials already in here. Let me select the Steel and then click the OK button. So now that step is done. Second step, let's define our constraints. I will click on the displacement icon and let me select this surface here and I'm going to zoom in a little bit and hold down the control key and select a few other different surfaces and I want those restrained in translation. I will click the OK button and now I've got my constraints done. For the first load set, I'm going to do my temperature differential. Let's click on the temperature icon and let's change the name of the load. I will call it my temp differential. And for the load set, I like to change the name. Let's call this temp load and then click the OK button. And so for the spatial variation, I'll leave it as uniform. For the reference temperature, I'll have it starting at 22 degrees. And then for the value, I'll leave it at, or I'll change it to 10 degrees Celsius so that it will end up cooling and be in contraction. Let's click the OK button. And so now that I have my first load case, let's set up our initial static analysis. I will go to Analyses and Studies, then from the File drop-down menu, New Static, and I've got my constraint set. Let me change the name here to Initial Temp Load. That's what I'm going to run as the basis for my pre-stress static analysis. And let's see uh, anything else in here. Let's make sure that I've got the right load set. Load set 1 is actually empty. For the convergence, let's go to multipass Adaptive. Crank up the maximum polynomial order to 9. I will leave the convergence on local displacement, local strain, energy, and global root mean square stress. And let's make the percent convergence a little tighter. There's an output tab. I'm not going to change anything here. And I'm not going to exclude any different elements. Now let's click the OK button and with the initial static analysis set up, let me make sure my settings are adequate. That's good for a RAM allocation. And now I will hit the green flag and yes, I want to run interactive diagnostics and let's monitor the run status. All right. It has finished. It went through eight passes, going to a maximum polynomial order of eight. Let's close out of here. Now I'm going to set up the other additional load. Let's close the Analyses and Design Studies dialog box. My second load is going to be a pressure load. Let's click on the pressure icon. And for the surfaces, I have a bunch of surfaces that I want to select, so I'm going to use surface sets. Let's do seed and boundary. I'll select an anchor surface. I'm not sure if this is actually going to be fewer mass clicks, but hey, let's use this method. And so for my bounding surfaces, let me select these five surfaces over here. Probably could turn off the display of my constraints. And then for my other bounding surfaces, let me hold down the control key and select that surface there. And oops, let me move this so I can see it all on the screen at the same time. Let's click the OK button. And so now I've got all the exterior surfaces. Let me change my units to PSI. I'm going to change this to a value of 10 and click the OK button. Oops, let me edit that load while it's still selected. Edit definition. 
because I always like to change the name of this. Let me call this my pressure load. And I accidentally put it in the same set as my temperature load. Let's choose new and let's call this the pressure load. And click the OK button and so now I've got my second load and my second load set let's click the OK button and by the way let me bring back my tree so I can go to my simulation entities right now I've got my constraint set and I've actually got an empty load set here you want to get rid of the empty load set you can go to the loads drop down menu and go to load sets and then I can choose to delete that one that doesn't have anything in it. Now I'm going to create a, another analysis that's just going to be the pressure load so I can see the effect of having the pressure load separate from the temperature load. Let's go to analyses and studies and I'm going to go to the file drop down menu, new static, and let's call this one pressure load comparison and I've got my constraint set I've got the correct load set selected once again I will go to multi-pass adaptive crank up the maximum polynomial order and let's have 5% convergence as the criteria everything here looks good let's click the OK button by the way I didn't take a look at the results I'm going to take a look at the results for all three of the studies at the same time once we run all of them all right, let's hit the green flag. Yes, I want to run interactive diagnostics. And let's go to the study status and then wait as this runs. All right, the run has completed. This time it only went through five different passes. Let's close out of here. And now we'll actually do our pre-stress static analysis. Let's go to the file drop-down menu and then new pre-stress and pre-stress static. And in this particular situation, let's call this our pre-stress wing analysis. And we have our constraint set. And so for the previous analysis, I'm going to use the static analysis results from a previous design study and I'm starting off with the temperature load and then I'm going to have the pressure load applied to it. Also when you're doing a pre-stress static analysis you have the ability to apply a load scale factor to the previous analysis that you are running. Let's go to the output tab here we can see that we're calculating the stresses, rotations, and reactions with a plotting grid of 4 for convergence multi-pass adaptive is selected. You'll notice that you do not have the option for single pass adaptive in this particular situation. Let's uh, see some of the other different options. There's localized mesh refinement which will give you better values. There's an option here to check the contact force. For the polynomial order, let's crank this up once again and I like to reduce my percent convergence to something a little tighter and I'm not going to exclude any other different elements. So that's how you set up the pre-stress static analysis. Now let's click the OK button and we're going to run this one and hit the green flag. Yes, run interactive diagnostics and now let's monitor the study. All right, the run has completed. Oddly, it was giving me a little warning about the run failed at one point, but just hadn't completed. Uh, anyhow, in this particular situation, I can see that it took five passes going to a maximum polynomial edge order of seven. Let's close out of here. And now we'll take a look at the results. Initially, uh, we'll take a look at the temperature results. I will select that particular run and then go to the results icon and let's take a look at our stress von Mises that's good let me go to the display options I'll choose continuous tone and contour and let's deform it using scale of 10% yeah I'll start off with that one and I'm not going to animate it and let's call this one the temperature load 
only. And then let's click the OK and Show button. Oops, let's edit this real quick. There we go. And that scale of deformation is also way too high. Let's edit that one. Let's do deformed. Let's just use a scale of one to start off with and OK and Show. But the important thing that I want to see in this particular situation is the stress from the temperature load only. Here we have it as a peak value of 212 megapascals. Let's do a, another results window. And this time we'll take a look at the pressure load only and click the open button. And let's do our stress and let's go to continuous tone and deformed just with a scale of one. And for the title of this window, let's call it the pressure load only. And then click OK and show. And if I ran with both of these load cases together, then the net result would be these stresses added to one another because that's what happens when you run with multiple load cases. You get superposition of the results. But now let's create a new results window in which we will take a look at the pre stress static analysis. Let's select that result set and let's call this pre-stress static results and let's go to the display options and continuous tone and deformed and let's just do a scale of one and then let's choose OK and show and so now we've got our third window and we see in this particular situation with the pre-stress the stress is 196 megapascals which is just slightly larger than the pressure load only because due to the temperature differential that ended up adding some stiffness into the model. So that way we're getting the correct results in this particular situation rather than if we had run with both of the different load cases analyzed at the same time. So that's how you can set up a pre-stress static analysis.